So it looks like he's generating a build. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. So we can see the files that he's accessing are um, things to do with our internal build process. Now, this can be a little hard to, to view. So what I'm going to click now is this Show Hierarchy button. And what this shows us is a hierarchy of the information that he's accessing. So I can, I can see that there's a split here between export and gates. Most of it is in gates. I can then expand that. And, s and we split up this pie piece into all these different things. So I can you know, dive even deeper and say, you know, look at that component of it. And we'll highlight it up there. And we can see how much it's contributing. So just to tie it together, and I'm going to pause this for a second. We're seeing now a hierarchy of files. I can click on this pie chart to, to light up the component so I can see. So what this indicates is that over this range, there have been 22 NFS operations from Eric's machine that are under this directory. And we can light them all up up here. So you, you, you can see very, very quickly how, how you would uh, how you can drill down to, to find the root cause of these performance issues and do that very quickly. So this is a completely different view. I'm going to explode this a little bit. And uh, we're going to look at this on, say, the last minute. Okay. So before we were seeing kind of simple graphs, which are easy to understand, this is a, a slightly more complicated thing. And it requires just a little bit of explanation. Uh, I'm going to close up these guys because we're not using them. get that in real time. So what we're seeing here now is on the on the x-axis we're still seeing time. Now on the y-axis what we're seeing is latency and the more samples so for example uh, if I highlight here everything above this line took nine milliseconds or more. Every, um, the darker one of these cells is the more samples fell into that bucket. Mm -hmm. So for example we see a big band down here that's between zero and one milliseconds. That's read operations which were um, pulled out of cache. Yep. So ones that took no time. Now we can see a nice band here, and that's you know really around you know kind of seven, eight, nine milliseconds. And what you're seeing there is just the ro rotational latency and seek time of the 7200 RPM drives. We also have great integration with the hardware and software. So if I, for example, I go to this maintenance screen, we now see the head units that are associated with this machine, and then also the JBODs. So I can then zoom into a JBOD and say, you know, look at a particular drive. Now you can see that a little bit in the VM as well. We've also we've got kind of some virtual hardware that we're going to have. So if there's a fault somewhere, so for example, um, if, if there were a problem, we would see that very clearly in this view. So for example, I can click here on memory and uh, select one of these memory, one of these dims, and they'll light it up. We can see that it's that dim right there. No so if there's some problem, we, we'd see that. Similarly, you know, if there were a fault at CPU, we would, you know, we could light up that CPU and it'll be shown in red. Ditto with the fans and the power supplies. So uh, this is the kind of level of system integration that I was talking about, mm -hmm. where we've done the work to, so that all the stuff kind of works together seamlessly in the way you'd expect. Um, and, and assembles these components that Sun has been building for years.